When it comes to choosing a site to turkey hunt with, there's a lot of options on the market and I encourage people to find the one that's gonna fit them the best. For me, I like to be able to see the site in low light conditions. A lot of turkey hunts, you're hunting in the shadows, hunting in the shade of trees, you're hunting in the early morning or late evening hours and I highly encourage you to get in the shadows as much as you can. Darkness is going to help hide your movements from a turkey. So when it comes to picking a site, you know, what you're trying to look at is, you know, you've got the head of that bird bobbing and weaving through the brush. What's he going to be doing while he's out there? If he's a nervous bird, I really like something like this tribe is to be able to help you pick the bird out very fast. But the tribe is, you've got two little light pipes that come in on the side, on this part of the site right here that's going to help help you line everything up with your, your light pipe on the end. And what you're looking at, and you can even see it in some of the footage that we've shot, whether we're on the range or whether we're on a hunt, you're basically looking at how bright that site is to help you acquire that target very fast. What you're trying to do is put those light pipes right on that turkey's head so when you pull the trigger, you're knocking him down right there. That's a dead one. I mean, look at all the pellets in the brain right there. So, feeling good about the site picture of what we're looking at with that high vis site. Feeling good about the pattern. Feeling good about the choke. Um, you know, now it's just about getting those turkeys to get out there and participate. I mean, that bird there, he's he's fly, He's not even flopping anymore. He's done. He's fried. He's ready for dinner. You can sit for hours and nothing go on, and then the whole world come to life. That's a big old tom right there. We had some coming in behind us, and I was trying to talk to them, and we were having a little bit of hen conversation, and I mean, it's like the floodgate opened up, and there's 15, 20 hens coming through, big old toms out there strutting. There was three, four more there, and he was blowing up. I know Kevin saw him better than I did. When I turned around, it was like Black Friday shopping when they opened it up, and there's a great sale going on at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, and every, every turkey in the county starts coming running in, and we had our hens, and. Toms, and I mean, that is a jammer. I mean, a jammer of a tom right there. <laughs> Turkey hunting's supposed to be fun. Today was a little bit like deer hunting, but we smoked a big one, and there at the end, you had strut. I mean, we had five toms up here you could never see, two or three other toms working here, and then at the end, they were all coming around through here playing and getting after it, and some of them went in there with the cattle, and I'm like, dang gum, and then, the floodgates opened and all of these guys came running in. That was awesome. I bet there was 20 hens. Wow. Big old bird. Look at the big old spurs on that thing right there. Look at that sucker. Look at the spurs on that big old Rio right there. I mean, thank you, buddy. Man, oh man, what a tom. What a tom. Holy cow. I mean, this bird is gorgeous. Thank you, big Tom. Oh, man. That's a jammer. You know, turkey hunting to me is just, there's so many different things about it. Whether you're setting up, running, gunning like we like to, or you're ambushing them in the afternoons when things are slow. Uh, and, you know, we got 20 mile an hour winds right now, and bluebird day been a tough turkey season really by, by all accounts. Everybody I talked to is really, you know, having a hard time getting them to gobble, but 
when it goes together, it's just the most incredible fast-paced thing. Bam, it's done, and that's what we got here. We're gonna get this guy tagged, get out of here, let these birds get to roost. They're roosting two or 300 yards down there, and we'll let them have their space. And just like that, the High Viz Triviz shows us why it's such a powerful and necessary site to utilize when turkey hunting.